So we've looked at Katy Perry's Roar in some detail, looking at stereotypes, intertextuality and audience responses to the video. It's now time for us to move on to a more in-depth look at Pharrell Williams' Freedom, which is the second of our key set texts in the music video unit. We are going to consider some of the symbols in the video and how they contribute both to the meaning, to the viewer, and to the message that Pharrell Williams is trying to convey through his video. We are very used to, in our society and the world around us, interpreting symbols. We do it every day, we do it all the time, most of the, most of the time we don't even know that we're interpreting symbols. They've become so much a part of our culture. If we think about the symbol on this page here, well, the symbol of the man and the woman are so embedded in our culture that we don't even need to think about it. That's exactly what it means to us. Perhaps more worrying is the idea of blue being a man's colour and pink being a woman's colour. Blue and pink again here are acting as symbols. They carry connotation and they carry meaning with them. That can have benefits in helping us understand the world around us but it can also have um, challenges and problems that come with that because those associations with those two colours limit us in some way. The way in which these two images are, these two symbols are composed, the woman in the dress, the man clearly in trousers, is problematic in its own way. So symbols are significant in the culture around us and the world around us and media texts employ symbols therefore to get us to think about things and to create create sometimes complex meanings in a short space of time. Music videos often use a technique called montage editing and this is a term you will want to remember with reference to Pharrell Williams' freedom. So. This is when a video consists of a collection of shots which might seem quite random at first and they're often quite quick but which make the audience think, audience think hard about what they might mean. And those images, although they are random and seemingly disconnected, they all come together um, in a common meaning and a common message. So take some time to watch Freedom now. And as you watch Freedom for the first time, Try to remember as many of the images that you've seen as possible. So you should have watched Freedom once by now. Now take some time to write down as many of those images as you can from memory. And then watch the video again and write down the ones that you missed. And then think about, and you might make, want to make some notes here, but certainly think about why did some images stick in your mind more than others? And I emphasise your there. Why were those images significant to you? And what meaning did you take from them? So first of all here, we have a symbol. You might want to think here about um, female identity, perhaps about um, female oppression and repression in all cultures. You might want to think about notions of religious identity, religious freedoms, religious oppressions too. Um, here we're going to consider um, nature of course, um, the plant as a symbol of regeneration, of um, freedom of growth, um, notions of improvement. You might look at the black background as opposed to the green of the plant, think about the contrast there. Um, this is a really powerful symbol here. Um, on the final slide of this video, um, I've included a couple of videos which might help your understanding of this symbol. But this is from Tiananmen Square in Beijing. This is obviously a Lego reconstruction of it. But the images from Tiananmen Square in Beijing from 1989, when some Chinese, thousands of Chinese students were protesting um, in order to gain more democratic rights in China. And they protested for a number of days until the Chinese government ordered the military to move in 
to break up what was a peaceful protest. And it is believed that thousands of Chinese students were killed in that standoff with the Chinese military. And significantly now, um, Tiananmen Square is still banned as a topic of discussion or communication um, in China. So this is very much a symbol of freedom and oppression. Uh, Muhammad Ali, um, again, there is a video on the final slide. Think about ma what Muhammad Ali stands for, both in terms of his sporting achievements, strength, power, speed, quickness, um, but also do some research perhaps into what Muhammad Ali stood for as a black icon in America and how he contributed to the civil rights movement in America. Also his stance on the Vietnam War is significant. Do some research, think about what he represents here. Um, you might want to think about music as an expression of freedom and creativity here. We've done the cowboy in some detail. Um, here we have, you might want to consider the consumerist nature of modern society. First of all, they are all white women, of course, um, but think about how money dominant dominates, how appearance is important in modern society, how perhaps identity is shaped by the ideas. This is a brilliant image. You might want to think about progressive ideas of female empowerment, breaking down boundaries, changing perceptions, those sorts of ideas. Here you can consi might consider the freedom of swimming or indeed the idea of drowning and what we might be drowning in in modern culture. And here we have, yes, ideas of freedom, but also um, the contrast between man and nature and what our place is in the natural world. So once you've done at least three of those, um, choose one of them um, and, and write a paragraph explaining its significance. Um, think about what the lim image literally shows, what is the symbol, um, but more importantly, what it might represent more widely. What are the connotations of that? And how do those connotations shape our understanding of what the video means and what its message is? What point is Pharrell Williams trying to convey? Um, here are a few sentence starters um, which may aid your understanding um, and help you to write your paragraph, but these should not restrict you in any way. You don't have to use these. They're just there to um, help you along if you need them. As is this slide with key vocabulary, um, you don't need to use these words, you don't have to use these words, but they are words which might help shape your explanation of um, what the symbol means and how significant it is to Pharrell Williams' message in this video. And finally, um, just think about um, some of the intertextual references in this video, um, particularly Muhammad Ali, billboard adverts, the Tiananmen Square Lego symbol, and the notion of cowboys and Western films and what they represent. You might want to do some more research to fully understand these. Um, there are three videos here, one for Muhammad Ali and two for Tiananmen Square, which will help you.